welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Hedatullah with another new video actually uh, we have already started CSSF 2016 tutorial series and this is our lesson 22 and already we have completed 21 videos that are very very important for foundation design and slab design by using CSSF and also I have shown you that how we'll um, import a file from eTabs to CSSF 2016 for designing our slab perfectly with detailing so if you're new here you can watch our previous video and i think that will be very very helpful for you and also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon for next update so in our previous video i have just uh, shown you i mean uh, this is the second part of our combined footing design and in our previous video i have shown you that how we'll define our materials properties slab properties and then soil subgrade properties right now oh, i'll go for defining our grid system so for that we'll go here edit then here grid data add mm, or modify data actually here i'm everything doing just uh, i'm just i'm uh, considering every data here simply actually i'm um, uh, considering every data here uh, very simply and uh, when you will go for your re a real project design then you have to consider uh, that uh, slab size or slab thickness, uh, thickness perfectly and you have to go for different types i mean different times trial and error process so uh, first of all i'll go here global then uh, show or modify so from here i'll go a spacing right and here i'll give grid a this is i will consider this is uh suppose this is in x direction i'll just consider uh, this is uh, i'll just consider this is okay four meter and that is zero after that for one i'll just consider this is uh, three meter and also zero actually uh i'm just considering that that means our uh one f actually where how we'll consider that grid uh in x direction or y direction actually suppose here you are seeing two point here one point and here another point so when i will i just i'll consider that this is the one column point and this is the another column point okay this is the one column point and this is the another column point so that's why we are drawing like that and if you think that your foundation is like uh, in y direction okay your column direction is y direction so here is your on column and here is your on column then uh, you can give here the distance i mean on column to another column distance here okay here i mean uh, this is totally depend on your technique i mean your working technique so i am just giving here like that okay now also you can uh, change that data according to requirement actually so if i consider that our data is uh, suppose consider our uh, one found uh, footing to another footing distance is three feet okay consider it's three feet okay done now it's see here it's a change it's three feet in one footing to another footing distance uh, one column to another column distance so I'll just consider our grid system like that now I'll click here okay and again okay so you are seeing here this is our grid system here this is our grid system here actually so I will just uh, remove the background horizon for that click here so click here horizon then okay so it's done now uh, I will draw a foundation with respect to that column point and that column point we have considered that our this is the two are our two column points okay here is the column position and i will uh, draw a foundation with respect to that two point so for that we need some i mean uh before that before uh drawing foundation we need some point with respect to which point we'll draw our foundation right so for that i will just uh click a draw then from here draw points then here after that suppose it is the y offset i mean plan offset x and plan offset y in meter so i'll consider that 
my uh, this is suppose this is the point and with respect to that point what will be the distance of our the next point here so I'll just consider that uh, actually this is the x direction positive x and this is the topper y direction positive y okay here it's showing the grid system here so mm, here I'll just give here I'll consider our uh, data is away from 0 0.5 meter and 0 0.5 meter okay so I'll just simply click here and see here here is the point right now again uh, just simply for our next another point I'm um, corner of the foundation I will just simply change the value of y I'll just give her minus 0 0.5 then if I click here just see here here is the data right so um, again here I'll just uh, give uh, for uh, x direction data I'll just sorry I'll just give data minus 0 0.5 for that point and uh, for upper point I'll just give her positive 0 0.5 and here so this is our four point of our foundation okay this is our four point of our foundation and here we'll draw our foundation so I'll just close that now here we'll draw our foundation right so to draw our foundation uh, here to draw our foundation I will just select that option here I'll select that option or rectangular foundation otherwise we can select that option also so I'll select uh, suppose okay let's see uh, I'll select that option here now uh, from here we'll select our types of object its slab then our uh, properties uh, here our combined it combined foundation okay and it's 2500 mm it's right then it's a straight line now from uh, that point to that point and from that point from that point and from that point so just see here here is our combined foundation okay this is our combined foundation now I will draw column on it how will draw column actually so simply I will uh, just select a column is stiff okay here I will draw here column stiff so actually uh, I will not draw column stiff by using that option so we have uh, draw our uh, foundation by using that option now I will close that and actually by that option draw draw areas around point okay draw areas around point so uh, with respect to that point and that point we'll draw two columns so simply I'll just click on it and from here I'll select this is the rectangular slab is this a rectangle and if your uh, column are in suppose your column are in circular then you have to select circular slab then your column are if your column is in a rectangle or a square then you have to select rectangular then from here we'll select column stiff now we'll give here the column stiff dimension okay we'll give column stiff dimension so I'll consider that our column column is three zero zero mm okay and for it three zero zero mm right so it's done so here 0 0.3 meter 0 0.3 meter now I'll simply click here and I'll simply click here so we have successfully draw our foundation with column stiff okay we have successfully draw our foundation with column stiff now in that point and that point we'll draw two points in that uh, center point of column or in center point of column we'll draw two points okay to uh, design or I mean to provide a load actually on it okay as uh, we'll provide our columns load I mean I mean our structure load on foundation as a point load on columns that's why we'll give it that load so click a draw after that I'll just click a draw points so it should be zero zero now click here and also click here so it's done so we have successfully draw our 
foundation here I mean our uh, combined foundation so in our next video I will just show you that how we'll apply load on it and how we'll check that foundation is it okay or not with our required data and uh, it's it is okay or not for our design check and after that we'll go for design so if you think that this video is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment because your own comment and on share inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much s12 s2 connected till next video